First at 10, high-speed rail supporters rally around the line linking Madison to Milwaukee. The night team's David Douglas joins us with tonight's top story. David? If you thought the grassroots died back for the winter in November, Eric, think again. Those who hoped to ride the rails one day had to settle for their cars tonight, but many made it all the way from Milwaukee to make a point. It brings people, business, capital, and jobs. Hundreds of people. This is a way to jumpstart our economy. United with mostly similar reasons. The train equals jobs. Packed into an east side Madison hotel to raise the stakes in the fight for high-speed rail. It is not over, not nearly over. The show of support, all before an official meeting on linking Milwaukee to Minnesota by train could get underway, the kind of meeting typically few people turn out to. It's pretty technical. It is not a public hearing. Sporting pro-rail stickers and holding signs, the crowd of close to 400 listened while hoping to send a message to Governor-elect Scott Walker, who's vowed to stop the train. Get him to change his mind. The Madison to Milwaukee line is a key stretch in ultimately linking the two states. So what do DOT planners say about that project being put on hold? You know, Minnesota is the lead on this project. They have a focus based off of their own state rail plan. We are also partners in that effort. And from a planning perspective, there's some real value in looking at it, planning it, putting it on the shelf and seeing how, you know, planning for the future. The corridor study will take 18 months and look at 32 different routes before deciding on two or three. What happens if there is no Madison to Milwaukee line at all? That remains unclear at this point. The state of Minnesota did not have reps at the meeting tonight as planned, though they did have literature, and they now have more than 325 people on a mailing list wanting to know more. All right, the night team's David Douglas reporting. David, thank you very much.